G'day, Jason Nunn from Fisherman's Warehouse, Tuckerwall Marks Point, with this week's fishing report. As we can see, a beautiful afternoon down here at the moment. Swansea Channel just looking fantastic and a nice run in tide. That's going to help this weekend. These afternoon run in tides are really going to benefit the estuary. There's been a lot of tailor in the lake at the moment. On Monday, I ducked over towards Coal Point. A lot of smaller fish, 35s, look, maybe the odd 40 mixed in amongst them, but they were just would bite absolutely anything and look I think the tip is this weekend to stay in the estuaries and really work some of these bait schools there's a lot of bait down around Pulver Island uh, Rath Mines up towards Toronto as well Valentine lots and lots of bait around we've got Taylor salmon in the lake as well there's a future valley and mixed in amongst the schools a few beautiful Mulloway getting caught some of the Mulloway look 65s undersized but there's some better 80s 85s and there's been some really nice flathead one of the key ways to actually do it is to either use soft plastics which we've touched on or to use some of the vibes the samaki vibes or the xerix probably the most well known of the lot and you're getting two different types basically what you've got here is a fork tail this one here in the xerix is just a small curl tail and this guy here is just the paddle now there's a couple of actions that work well for myself when you're using the fork tail vibes it's a slow double pump that double pump gets that vertical lift up and you'll feel that vibration coming through the rod tip with the paddle tail or the thumper tail what it is it's just a nice slow lift with a slow roll and it allows the law just to sink back down the whole idea of that everything slow motion to keep the law on the bottom and I think as we run through August in September there'll be a lot of mile away come into the system and vibing or soft plasticking very very useful now look as we made mention it's going to be a beautiful weekend Saturday looks like a cracker a little bit of a southerly coming bit of a southeaster really on Sunday but look fishing the beaches early mornings late afternoons salmon tailor some nice whiting and a few brim around on the rocks just be careful there is a bit of swell today and that'll linger into Friday so if you're going down on the rocks play it safe always wear a jacket as we've indicated but drummer some beautiful Ludrick and Brim at the moment and some Trevally a few tailor late afternoons and early mornings but again make sure you wear a life jacket and do it with someone or do it with a friend basically if you're going to go offshore the bad news about last weekend was that inland the coast it was quite calm but as you got offshore it got quite bumpy there's quite a lot of barracuda around at the moment, the Victorian version, and they're just snipping off lines and laws, particularly down on the Texas and that deeper water. And in fact, they were all the way to the other side of Broughton, up towards the Gibber. So if you find that you're in a situation out there where there's barracuda around, just move or come inshore. There's some nice squire, trevally, the odd Samson fish getting caught on the inshore reefs as well. Now look, typifying a spot like this, there's plenty of shore base aspects out there. Pelican here where we are at the moment, obviously we've got Coon Isle in the background, but the lake supports many shore bay spots, Salts Bay in particular would be a great spot this afternoon, the salmon have been coming in on the high tide, you can work lures off the shore there and pace it out, but all in all, have a safe weekend, I know we've got some restrictions just been imposed, whatever you do, play it safe, stick to the rules, and we'll catch you next week.